G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to easily swap out your diff on your Holden Commodore. First thing you need to do before jacking it up is just lightly loosen all your wheel nuts before jacking it up. Okay, so now the next step is to remove the exhaust that's right above the diff. Luckily for me, I can just undo these two pipes here and it's out. Alrighty, so now that you've got the exhaust pipe out of the way, it's now time to get the brake caliper off and every other bolt that's connected to the axle there so we can slide it out of the diff. Alright, before taking the hub out, I recommend loosening the handbrake cable as much as you can to make it easier to take out the handbrake cable. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but it's in there. I'll show you that in a sec. Before you try undoing the handbrake cable from the hub, undo this here as loose as you can to make your life a lot easier. Alrighty, so that's where the handbrake cable is. You want to get your flat air screwdriver, push on this as hard as you can. You want to try and get that to go over the top of it. Alright, so next thing we're going to take off after the brake is all the other bolts that are connected to the um, axle. So let's get all that done. So this one, this one, this one down here, and that one there. So four, four to five bolts we'll take out. Let's do it. First axle out, and then I have to get the other side out. Okay, so now after you got the two hubs out, now we can undo the tail shaft bolts. And then we can undo these diff bolts, so then out comes the diff. That easy. This is the new diff we're going to be putting into the SS 292 LSD.
Once you get all three diff bolts back in, now it's time to put the tail shaft bolts in. Once you got the diff back in, it's now time to fit the axles in reverse order. Also, don't forget to refill your diff oil. This one here is a drain it. This one up here is to fill it up. I'm using Nulon 75 W85 GL5 oil. It takes about a litre. So yeah, don't forget about it. And that's how you change a diff. Enjoy your new diff, guys.